Welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess and today I'm going to share with you my haul from Sunset Valley Orchids. A couple of weeks ago, Sunset Valley released their 2020 list of Catacetum hybrids. I definitely had to check it out because I wanted to pick up a few Cloesia and Mormodes hybrids. So I definitely scanned the list and picked up a few. I'm going to just quickly go over the plants that I got and what they look like. So I don't have too much information about them and um, what the blooms will be. So hopefully this will be a pretty short video. So I got two species. The first one is the Catacetum spitzii and the second one is the Cloesia thyliocilicilla. Um, next set are Mormodes hybrids. I feel that Mormodes is a little bit more difficult and challenging to find, but I really love how unique the flowers look. Um, it's kind of hard to capture because it's kind of all folded and twisted on itself, but I think that's what makes it so unique. So I'm really looking forward to growing these Mormodes hybrids. So the first one is the Mormodes exotic treat crossed with Andreate. The next one is Mormodes exotic treat again crossed with Aftermath. And the last one is the Mormodes Virgin de Valle crossed with Hukurai. Now the next set are Cloesia hybrids or Cloacetum hybrids. And I think um, Cloesia is already really compact, but when you cross them with Tigrinum, which um, has kind of been a trend lately in creating smaller Catacetums, um, Catacetum Tigrinum is definitely one that creates the more compact growing habit. So I really like seeing how these ones will do. So the first one is the Cloesia Greystun crossed with Cloesia Dotsoniana. And the next one is the Cloesia Warsuitsii crossed with Catacetum Tigrinum. Now the last set of plants that I have are all Cloesia Rebecca Northerns. So I wanna see how uh, different varieties look. And so I have two of the same plant, um, two of the same variety, and one that is kind of like a remake. So all three of these Rebecca Northerns just look, um, so all three of these Rebecca Northerns look pretty similar at the seedling stage, but I think once it blooms, maybe some differences will peter out and I'll decide which one um, I'd like to keep and maybe give the rest away. So that is my haul from Sunset Valley Orchids. It's very quick, very brief, um, because I don't have too much information about these or what the uh, potential bloom will look like but I hope that this will be kind of a starting point for how these plants are doing, and then we'll kind of check back with them um, later in the year. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, for all the latest updates. And hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye!